Hi guys, welcome to ER for you. This is Ashruta and today we will see how to manage customer's account in ER for you. So many a times it may happen that we would provide a credit facility to our customers. Now customers can again be a B2B that is a business to business or a B2C that is a business to a consumer. So how to manage these credit sales information and maintain a customer's account in ER for you. So again for that this ledger option is given over here that is the last second option on the black ribbon just click on it. So from here you will see two options customer ledger and supply ledger. In the videos followed by these we will see how to manage a supplier ledger or a supplier account in the software as well. Today we will see about the customer ledger. So we will click on customer ledger. Now first thing first you can either search the uh, if it's a B2C customer you can search him by his name or mobile number or if it's a B2B customer so you can search them by their GST number or company name or any of the information that you have. Uh, noted about them. So here you can let's say we created a customer name as Anu. So as I type A, these this drop down has come with the customer's list or name list on it. So I can detect from here that this is the customer Anu again. So all the de details have automatically come over here Anu and her mobile number. Again, when I scroll it down, we'll see whatever business activity that has happened with Ms. Anu are noted over here that on 18th April at this particular time uh, purchase was made of 672 rupees and its status is paid and the second entry that is on 18th April again uh, some amount of uh, this 5000 amount was particularly debited and the credit amount was again this. You can again see a due amount is written over here as 3000 rupees and a closing balance of here 3000 rupees is showing. So we can see make payment is given over here on the above. Above you can see amount and payment mode is given over here. So now if Ms. Anu is coming back in a store and ready to return this remaining amount or some amount from this due amount we can again select this particular entry you'll see that in the make payment section amount and payment mode here the amount has been updated if miss anu is paying the whole amount due amount that is of 3000 rupees you can keep it the same amount or you can whatever amount she is paying you can edit it over here similarly you can select the payment mode and if it's there uh, any remark you can add the remark over here and simply click on credit okay now as we scroll down we'll see that due amount has come to zero and similarly closing balance has come to zero so whatever credit transactions you are doing you can manage them the customer's account from here that is the ledger option also in the store reports we can find this filter in the sale that who all are such our clients those whose credit amount is uh, still remaining. So again, in the payment mode, you can select from here as cash sales and credit sales. And similarly, a list of those customers who have purchased items from your store on credit basis, a list of their name and mobile number will again come on your screen. Similarly, you can print this list take a, or convert them into Excel file and again on the customer ledger option, you can see their particular account balance or account statement. Ashruta Moite signing off. Bye-bye.